So we have a solution here, and in this solution, we see that we have NH3, nitrogen with three things connected, is a base, and it's a weak base at that. So if you were to add a proton, it ended up being with NH4+, plus, that's the cation of this salt, this would be its conjugate acid. So we have got a solution that contains a weak base and its conjugate acid, so we have got what we call a buffer. And any time we want to calculate the pH of a buffer, we should use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. pH equals pKa plus the log of the concentration of base over the concentration of acid. Now students sometimes want to do something different if we've got a base buffer rather than an acid buffer, but we still use exactly this equation. So if we're wanting to get the pH, we need the pKa. I see here that they gave me the pKb. So how do we get the pKa from the pKb? I mean, from, I'm sorry, they gave me the Kb and I'll need the Ka so I can get the pKa. So how do I get the Ka? We know that the Ka is Kw divided by Kb. Kw is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. And that will give me 9.55, it just keeps going on, times 10 to the minus um, 10. There's the Ka. So now we're ready to calculate the pH. pH is pKa, that would be the negative log of that 9.55 times 10 to the minus 10, plus the log. Now which one was the base? The base was the NH3, and it's 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.15. Those are the concentrations. And that'll give me a pH equal to 9.255, carrying a little bit extra sig figs along for the ride, plus a negative 0 0.176. And this will give me a pH of 9.08. Now just a little quick word about this. The pH of 9.255 is basic, and typically, if you're making a buffer from a base and its conjugate acid, it's going to have a pH in the base range. That's typical. Um, this would be the pH, the 9.255, would be the pH if we had equal amounts of these two components because the log of 1 is equal to 0. Remember, the second term, term kind of fine-tunes it up or down. In this case, it's fine-tuning it down, and let's see if that makes sense. Which do we have more of, the base or the acid? We have more of the acid, so we'd expect it to come down a little bit, and so we'd have a pH of 9.08. Let's stop there, but the next two videos I'm going to create will be adding an acid to this buffer and seeing how it changes the pH, and then adding a base to this buffer and seeing how it affects the pH.